Hello, I'm Claire, and I'm excited to present our service in this video, which has been announced with advanced 3D modeling, editing, and several AI tools for a truly unique style. To learn more, please check out the full video. On the left side, we have the input, the original 3D video. On the right side, as output, we have a stylizer, the stable diffusion, an absinthe for consistency, and color collection with DaVinci result. This is the result. The mouth have some problem. We can go deeper later on the tutorial. On Premiere, we have to check our video must be 25 frames per second. Then, we have to export a PNG sequence and the same resolution and same frame per second and the file name must be 0.png then click export when it's done you can find all your mpng file on the folder then we open stable diffusion of stable diffusion i like to use realistic vision as checkpoint i put all the download link on the description of the video for checkpoint stable diffusion and absent then we have to choose the same resolution as the input, a sampling step around 35, and the most important thing, that the noise strength must be really low uh, to match the original picture. On the prompt, you can copy and paste from the description, the basic prompt. You can add all the things that you want to custom your image. Then we choose the 0 file as input, and we click Generate. As you can see, the result is really good, so I like it and I save it as a style. Remember, the file name must be the same of the input file, so my 000.png input has our group must have 000.png. Then, we open several frames to create keyframes for absinthe. Absinthe need the more than one keyframe to work properly. In this example, we use only five or six keyframes. You can modify prompt. In this case, I'm writing the pay attention to the mouth because this is a voiceover video, so lips and mouth must be perfect. Now I have do a typo on the, on the prompt, and then now the mouth is improved. So. I continue to open input file with the same uh, settings and most important the same seed to make the a unique character and when I'm happy I save as a style with the same frame file name so in this case frame 040.png so we continue to open several pictures maybe different from each other to learn, to teach, to absinthe, which is um, uh, the best keyframe for that moment. Maybe with the, red, the ends, when she showed the ends, in the other frame there's no ends. And another important thing, in that stable diffusion and on this AI-generated picture, uh, they are horrible to make human ends. So there's a good workaround. You can go to continue like this when you find uh, horrible hands like now we can do a fast photoshop fix so even if we see if we can try on the prompt to say to the ai make and better he make hands uh, crazy i don't know why they have to learn more about human hands but the workaround is really easy we open the same file as input and the result as output. We copy on the output the input file has a layer on top and we delete everything and we only keep the original input hands. I'll show you right now. So this is okay. I can save it as another style and we have to open it with Photoshop to fix the ends. Here in Photoshop, I open the output with the horrible hands and the input 
the same file with the right ends. Then I copy on the top layer and I delete everything but hands. So you can keep original hands on your stylized output picture. Then save it. And we have a fix for horrible human hands in stable diffusion. So, in AdSynth, just drag the input folder on the video and the style folder on the keyframe section. Then, Synth O. Oh. Maybe you have to wait a little bit. When it's done, you have uh, on the top of the AdSynth menu the option Export to After Effects. Just click that, choose 25 frames per second, and export. And AdSynth make a uh, after the effect project with all keyframes in the right timeline. And you had to only export, add it to render queue, and you have the video. Then it's not perfect because we have who's a few keyframes and the mount is not very, very good. But there's a workaround. We have to come back on Premiere and I show you. This is a fast way to do small videos. If you go deeper, use more keyframe as a reference, you can do perfect videos. Back on Premiere, we can mix to fix mount or eyes because there's a lot of glitch uh, in stable diffusion for eyes and mouths. So we mix uh, the two layers, the result on the top layer and the basic 3D layer on the bottom. We can play around with the opacity of the top layer of the resume to mix and blend with the original one. That improves a lot the mount glitches or eyes glitches. But remember, the best thing to do is to work on the prompt to fix mount, hands and eyes, and maybe give rare keyframes to have seen. Remember, we only give a five or six keyframe web scene for this video and the result is still pretty good. At the end we can export it as mp4 and we can do and other things to improve our video. The final video in DaVinci Resolve that for me is the best program for color correction. We can add a few nodes and play with the tint, opacity, temperature, uh, maybe put some grain filter like movie and chromatic aberration, a vignette style, then we can really find a good balance to do realistic video as this example. Then, this is all guys. If you have question or anything, just write on the comment. Um, check the link description. There's everything there. Stable diffusion version and have seen and most important thing, the checkpoint model that you can download for your own style. So here the result and thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Claire and I'm excited to present our service in this video, which has been announced with advanced 3D modeling, editing and several AI tools for a truly unique style. To learn more, please check out the full video.